What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nefertiti, and I'm back with another video. Hey, and I'm back with another video. Hey, 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 hey. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. I have a quick message. I'm gonna go ahead and get this message out because the skies are dark and it looks like it's fitting to rain. So we are gonna talk real quick. And so I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that the vengeance is the Lord's. There are situations in our life there's things that we're dealing with we all have battles that we deal with there are just some battles that you have to let God deal with now I get it there are times where you have to step in and you have to take action in certain areas I get that because we all have to do that however all right a big however you have to know when to let God step in and when you find yourself having a lot of resistance and you have no control, it's kind of like a slippery soap, like it just keeps falling out of your hand, you have no control over that situation, that's when you go over that person's head, over that situation, and you take it to the Lord. God is the only one that can make a big change in a situation. Especially, we can use like a, a workplace as an example. Maybe you have a manager that's disrespectful, that doesn't respect you, that's rude to you, that mistreats you. You then talk to their manager, but no one's doing nothing about it. That's when you go to the king, okay? You take it to Jesus and you talk to him and let God touch their heart. Heavenly Father, I ask that you turn the situation around because only God can change a person's heart. No matter what, you can, you can go ahead and get your own vengeance. Go ahead. Because guess what happens when you step in and get your own vengeance? Whatever you did, it's going to come back on you. So that's why it's best to just let God do it. Because what you do is when you say, nah, I don't need God. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself. So, oh no, they want to come at me. Guess what? I'm going to come at them. And that we just going to come at each other. And they're just like, well, guess what? Now what you're doing is you're having a back and forth. And what you have done is you have, you have sowed a seed. You have sowed a seed of discord. You have sowed a seed of back and forth. You have sowed a seed of arguments. When you could have just took, taken it to God and let him deal with it. And God will change that person's heart. And God will even change a person's heart to the point where he'll have a person apologize to you for how they treated you. Okay? So just know that in some situations, the vengeance is the Lord. Now, some people are going to be like, uh-uh, because I don't got time to be waiting for God to do it because God's not quick enough. Or you think that you're weak because you ain't doing nothing. No, that, no you're not. It takes a lot of strength to, to, to step back and to not allow your flesh to take over and to let God handle it. It takes a lot of strength. You may not think so, but if you, it takes a lot of strength because if you're used to, to always barking back and coming back at a person or or handling a situation the way that you want to handle it, it's hard to not do it the way you want to do it, but to, to let God do it, to completely step back and be like, look, God, I don't want no control over this situation. I'm just asking you to go ahead and, and step in. Now, listen, when you're asking God to step in, that means you have to step back, okay? Let him do his thing. God's going to do it the way that he needs to do it, the way that person needs needs it to be done. He will, he will have the situation be completely peaceful, smooth, he will, he will do what he needs to do. He will correct the people he needs to correct. He will touch the hearts that he needs to, to touch. He will change the situation that, he need, that needs to be changed. When God does it, it is best that we just let him do it. Don't, you don't got to step in. You don't got to. Now, if God puts it on your heart to, to be like, okay, well, go approach this person this way or go do that. If God tells you to do a specific thing, of course, be obedient. But what I'm saying to you is you have to know when to let God have it. Okay, you have to know when to be like, you know what? I have no control over the situation. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to let the vengeance be yours. Okay, you might, you might have people that might be in your ears trying to come at your neck and stuff like that. And you, and you got to be like, you know what, God? The vengeance is yours. And I'm not saying don't defend yourself now. Okay, hold up. All right, that's not what I'm saying. Of course, you know, you can defend yourself. You don't have to act how they're acting. You don't have to sweep down to their level. But of course, you can defend yourself. But there are situations in your life where you have no control and you have to know to be, when to be like, you know what? You got it, God. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you handle it. You keep on going on about your life, all right? If y'all haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Be sure to join the team. Also, I have a reaction channel, which is in the description below. Hit me up on there. Y'all can hit me up on social media, whatever, whatever. If you have any questions, if you want me to pray for you, y'all hit me up, all right? God bless y'all, stay tuned.